night. The prosecution goes even further, listing all the simple ways Jackson could have been saved. Now, we're being told right now the arrest stems from an investigation by the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, that's in Washington State, into that evidence seized in a recent search warrant that was conducted by the Sheriff's Office, you'll remember, a few weeks back. If you'll take a look behind me here, you'll see Napoleon over the right-hand side elevator and his wife, Josephine, over the left. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that over the back stairs hangs a picture of his mistress. It talks about how you should take a break every now and then. So if you have something you have to do immediately, you have to get it done by the end of the day, they say focus on it for 25 minutes. Don't let anyone interrupt you. And then take five minutes to just veg. And eat chocolate, maybe. And eat, <laughs> eat chocolate. That help they are still setting up glasses. They're still putting out the chairs and tables. The question now is, will they be done in time? A big drop in temperatures earlier this week. Actually, even Thursday, we were seeing Palm Springs close to 90 degrees. So we're looking at a 10 to 15 degree drop in temperatures throughout the Inland Empire, along the coast as well. More on Robert's injured shoulder, so we, he says. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I think I saw him throwing a baseball earlier yeah. today. I can't be sure. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a southpaw, right? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's right. not just excuse for everything. Okay, and it's so odd to think we've been dealing with so much rain up here, but then yeah. there was always that concern over the weekend well, that it was so dry in the southern part of Utah. The big but first, the big story at 10, as the parents of a missing teenager make a public plea to find their little girl. And now the FBI is involved in this criminal investigation. 16-year-old Alexis Rasmussen went missing about a month ago. Her family has no clue what happened to her. ABC4's Marcos Ortiz is live in North Ogden. Do they have any suspects at this point, Marcos? Uh, no one yet. Uh, pulling around uh, 1%. Well, tonight he's up to 3%. 300% gain in the polls. Nonstop news just getting started tonight. Cameras roll when a school bus aide gets out of control. What a student did to get her all wild up. And a devastating day for the doctor at the center of the Michael Jackson case. What they're saying Michael did and didn't do with that deadly dose. Now to the growing controversy and confusion over multivitamins. Earlier this week, we reported on new research that put those everyday multivitamins in the middle of a heated debate. Do they help or do they hurt? Tonight, ABC4 anchor Kylie Conway gets to the bottom line. Cell phone charges can be unpredictable, but for one man, they're downright criminal. He was charged for posting two pictures of his vacation on Facebook from his phone, and it cost him almost as much as the vacation itself. Verizon did offer to split the roaming charges. Mike still paid over $400. In the future, customers will get a series of texts when they rack up charges on an international trip. Country singer Taylor Swift has been named the 2011 Billboard Woman of the Year. At just 21, she is the youngest person ever to receive that honor. She'll accept the award in New York City. Swift was also recently nominated for five country music awards, including Entertainer of the Year. She won that award back in 2009. Sports is next. Feels good. You can it all thank me now if you like it later. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the feeling he's asking for a tip here. I, I think he <laughs> is. He's got his hand. It's not gonna We're going to have to wait till Monday after the weekend to make sure what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, weekend's what counts. <laughs> you get a tip if it's a good weekend. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching Nightlines. Coming up next.